There's nothing more exciting than exploring a city with a bike. Especially in Vancouver, the infrastructure is very good for that. So I did what many tourists do, they surround Stanley Park and I did a little bit more. All you need to know in this video. So first of all, where do you get a bike? You could use the local sharing system, but that's not available for tourists. The reason for that is very easy, they want to keep the shops that rent bikes in business. Most of the rental services are located at Lehman Street, which is very close to Stanley Park. Rental prices usually go by the hour, or by half day, or by full day. Because there are a lot of shops around who rent bikes, comparing prices isn't that easy. Because some offer you a helmet, some don't, some offer you maybe a lock, some don't, so you have to watch out for that. And you need a helmet. And I recommend to also rent a lock. There are also many choices of bikes you can take, like a tandem, a cruise bike, whatever. Just take anything, they vary in prices, however. I paid for 3 hours about 16 Canadian dollars, which is a very good price. And this is the bike I got. Oh, okay, the bike wasn't that fancy. Right next to Stanley Park Drive, there's a bike lane. It goes all around Stanley Park. When you go around Stanley Park, it's only counterclockwise. The first thing you see is the beautiful skyline of Vancouver. Right after that, I recommend visiting the park with the totem poles. You have to share your bike lane with skaters or with skateboarders. But then also you sometimes have to stop because you're not allowed to drive. You have to get up and walk. Yes, the bike lane is pretty crowded and maybe those rules are okay. And this is where I want to go, the Lion Gates Bridge. If you have not fallen off this weird curb while overtaking others, which is a little bit difficult, or no rocks hit your head, you can continue your journey to the west side of Stanley Park. There are beautiful beaches to relax and enjoy the scenery. I finished my tour around Stanley Island pretty quickly, so I decided I'll continue my tour and surround also the downtown area of Vancouver. Oh, I'm just still checking if my GoPro is still recording. And in the background you see the Burrard Street Bridge. In the distance you can see Granville Island. And by the way, you can take this ferry with your bike to Granville Island if you like. Or you just leave your bike on one side and take the smaller boats, which don't take bikes. As you see, there are bike lanes everywhere, although some people sadly complain about it. The whole trip took me about 3 hours. I totally recommend doing this activity. It is just another pace to explore the city by bike. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Do not forget to watch all the other videos about Vancouver and my travelings around the world.